The Scarlet Solo is back and it's back with a vengeance. This is their third generation from Focusrite. First off, shout out to Focusrite for sending this over. They basically said, Chris, what are you doing, man? Okay, we saw your last comparison between the M Audio 1924 and you're using our old tech, man. You gotta see what we've been cooking lately. So this is gonna be the unboxing and overview as we prepare for the rematch. And guys, we're doing a giveaway with this, so you wanna subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss the details on that. I have got a monster coming up for you. Comparison between the M Audio 1924, the Focusrite Scarlet Solo third generation, and the folks at Audient reached out. They're sending over their brand new ID4 Mark II and the Evo 4 for comparison. You are not gonna wanna miss miss this showdown. So again, hit the subscribe button, click the bell. Let's get into the unboxing. Okay, so taking a quick look at the box, we have Scarlet Solo, third generation, two in, two out, USB audio interface. And um, I was an early adopter with the Scarlet Solo. So there are a couple updates and changes, um, and some of those are apparent right on the box. So first off, you've got updated knobs and buttons and things like that. Um, there's a lot more LEDs. So you have a, a indicator here when it's connected to the computer. You've got your halo lights. Those remain the same from the last generations, the previous generations. You've got your instrument button, your phantom power button, and and then the brand new or new to this interface air button okay and they've got a little information here as far as what the air button does it says give your mic air a brighter and more open sound so I'll be playing with this when I do the comparison between the M Audio 1924 and this. Um, this is a USB-C interface, which is great. So this is definitely bringing more heat to the competition this time around. You've got a couple of tech specs uh, noted here and you've got some included software here on the bottom. Now, one thing that they've changed is they used to have the RCA connectors on the back of the device to connect your speakers. Now you can use standard quarter inch cables. So that'll be nice. I don't have to change out wires for every interface. But enough talk, let's crack this thing open here with our Batman knife. This is pretty cool. I'll leave a link down below to where you can get this. It'll be an affiliate link. So you are helping out the channel when you check that out. That's not what we're here for. Let's put that to the side and crack into this box. Now, one thing that is also new with these uh, newer generations of Focusrite Scarlet Solos is the red finish. It's a little bit darker and seems smoother. Get this open. They got some silica gel in here, keeping uh, moisture away from the device. Right out the box, this thing looks like a jewel. It's like a dark ruby red. Um, we'll put this to the side for a second. We'll take a look at what else we get in the box. So it looks like we got a USB-C cable included here. Uh, this is USB-C to USB-A, unfortunately. So a lot of the new MacBook Pros use USB-C only. So a USB to USB-C would have been better here, but this is still doable and everybody's got these kind of cables now. And kind of like a quick start guide right here on the box. All right, so quick tour around the device. We got the Focusrite branding here. On the front of the device, we see your volume control knob. And this was an issue that I had with the last generation of Solo was that there was no dedicated headphone jack volume. So you're basically controlling your your speaker output as well as your headphones with this one knob you've got your direct monitor button here that allows you to monitor directly your inputs instead of hearing it make the trip into the computer and back out through the headphones um, this gives you super low latency you've got your um, instrument control right here instrument button your halo knobs right here that uh, tell you if you're clipping or not You've got your Phantom Power 48 right there. And then the last button here, we have the air button. Now this is supposed to give you a brighter, crisper sound. Um, so we'll definitely compare that to the M Audio 1924, which has the crystal preamps, which are supposed to give you an ultra realistic, ultra true to device representation of the sound. So you've got one XLR input right here. You've got, of course, your guitar input, headphone jack, and then on the back, moving around to the back, we've got the uh, Focusrite branding along with your USB-C input. This is how you're gonna connect to your computer, a Kensington lock, and then your right and left speaker um, input. So this is uh, how you'll connect your studio monitors. Flipping it over to the bottom, these feet here, these rubber feet seem to be more durable than the previous generation. I think I lost one or two of those. You got some product information here, of course, QR code and more information about the device itself. So that's pretty much all there is physically to the device. And again, I'm just in love with that deep red jewel ruby type color. I'm gonna keep the tape on here because we are doing a giveaway. Remember guys, you gotta be subscribed in order to get details on what you gotta do to win this interface. Now we're gonna talk more about the tech specs while I show you some sweet 
sweet b-roll so along with the sweet ruby red look this interface has a couple more things going for it for sure obviously it's updated with the latest usb-c interface technology so we'll be able to use it with the modern macbook pros although it doesn't come with a usb-c to usb-a cable in the box those are easy to come by and you can power the device with one of the new macbook pros now nothing new in the data rates here it still records at up to 24 bit at 192 kilohertz it's got two hum free balanced outputs for clean audio playback that was on the box that basically means you're gonna get no hiss and hum going out to your studio monitors um, it's also class compliant as we know and what I find most interesting and this is what I'm most excited to compare to the M audio and the audience interfaces is the air feature so this claims to give you a brighter and more open sound and I love that they're offering a different flavor of this preamp um, to customers at the base model, like at the base level. Uh, typically, companies tend to nickel and dime you with better preamps for a higher price, but no, it's the same preamps across the entire Scarlet range, and I, I've always admired that. But now offering that air flavor of preamp uh, processing is just just adding that much more value to the customer. Now, moving on to the software, it comes with a good amount of software. It has Avid Pro Tools first, um, also Ableton Live Lite. So these are two DAWs thrown in for free. Uh, that's a great value to customers. It also comes with XLN Audio's Addictive Keys, and I've actually used this in the past. It's a super solid sounding piano virtual instrument. It also comes with SoftTube's Time and Tone Bundle. So this is gonna give you some distortion plugins and things like that, as well as Focusrite's very own red plugin suite and Focusrite's plugin collective. So that's a lot of software, really a ton of software that you're getting. Uh, definitely a great package. And at this starting price, it's gonna be really hard to beat it. But that's again, what I'm so excited to see when we pair this thing up against the Evo 4 from Audient, as well as of course, the rematch you guys have been asking for between the 1924 from M Audio. So guys, that's a quick look, a quick unboxing of the Focusrite Scarlet Solo Generation 3. I cannot wait to put this up against the M Audio 1924 interface and the Audient Evo 4 interface and the Audient ID4 Mark II. It's going to be a great video. You don't want to miss that. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell so that you don't miss when it drops. I will see you guys in the next one. It's the Granite Geek Show.